So you guys wondering how I made this? It's really not that not that hard actually. It's kind of like every household you can find, and um, I managed to really have it, but I didn't have like the rest. But this is what you use to make uh, a scarf, like a cut, or you use this to make the bridge of your nose or, or all certain shapes. And it used this kind of thing just to basically if you just to I don't know you use it to make with this and it's like it's a really really fun. So what I used to make this, you see it's nice and nice and almost like a putty. And that's what you wanted it. I used these right here. Now I use this. We got this from in Walgreens. There's a bigger ones, but this is about like two to three dollars and I took the whole thing out of it and I bought this it was 150 it doesn't matter which kind of thing even baby powder works better but it's got this nice little pinkish flush to it because of this and um wet right now as I'm touching it it's a little bit sticky but it's still kept it nice and solid and that's what you want it to be you can sit it really, like right there to a point it stick onto you when you apply it and then you use a tool to work around it, and so so I try to like uh, uh, make it a little bit less stickier, but sticky and a little more held together with this. So th that's the essentially pieces. Right now I'm actually uh, putting away to get it ready to actually try something. I want to do the penguin, the nose with this. See how that works, and um, hopefully if you guys continue watching. And I'm gonna actually am going to uh, attempt to try this because I know there's a prosthetic one that you could get, but <sighs> this is something really different. And you know, just for anyone who wants to try it, like something is homemade and, and to do it and see if it, it's possible to do. It would, but I might have to get the spirit gums and uh, the uh, uh, um, and uh, the leg tets thing just to apply on it to make it a little more solid and blend right into my skin a little bit better. That's the only thing I need to grab from in the Halloween shops. But it's it's not always always that case. You need to also use a certain makeup to work around with the penguins. I also have this. Yeah, this is a zombie. <laughs> Makeup, but the only reason why I get this because it's, I have the store nearby. Uh, Walgreens has this thing up already, and I just picked this up because it got this nice kind of dead skin and gray and red and everything. It just works a little bit easier to work with the penguin, and um, you know it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> really silly, but hey, um, usually it works better if you just grab whatever they have and you could work around these things but you, you gotta be careful when you have this kind of product you know it doesn't even take your skin you have to test it out but you know clean your face <laughs> but I'm gonna use this also to have a makeup work with, with penguins so right now I'm looking at myself in the mirror like my nose is actually just about there it's just very like almost like a round ball I'm gonna actually make a shape that really stick out a little bit point and then the bridges and everything up so there is a lot of work to work around this little <laughs> my nose <laughs> and um yeah so hope you guys enjoy this is pretty much a short little video about what I use and what is my attempt to do I'm Casey 7 and thanks you guys for watching